All right, let's see here. I think they're to the right. Oh my. All right, there's one, Double two. Kill. Your third? Triple ah, we kill. got the third. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy Dubs coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Damascus camo, but, but, but it's on MW3. I saw that a lot of you guys enjoyed the, or a lot of people watched the Plague Diamond, but it was on Black Ops 2 video. Uh, that was the last video that we came out with. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. So I was trying to find the final camos in the new games and I was trying to see if I could use them on the old guns or in the old games or whatever. Yeah, on guns in the old games, yeah. So uh, since I've been looking for that, I found this and this is actually pretty cool. It actually looks super clean in this game. It replaces gold and gold is the best camo in Modern Warfare 3. It's one of the best gold camos of all time, in my opinion. I'm willing to sacrifice it because this camo looks super clean. So we're gonna use this today. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, uh, I guess smash the like button if you guys want to kick it, you know, punch it you know slap it you know whatever you want to do uh yeah without further ado let's go bros all right hey guys real quick um so my camera froze in the middle of the first game so i'm just gonna take out the camera completely throughout the whole video i'm just not gonna have you guys stare at a frozen screen so sorry about that i just didn't see it when i was recording and things like that so i just want to let you guys know because i know i did the intro with the camera on and it's like why is the camera on now and not in the gameplay it's just it froze. It's been doing this lately. I don't know why. Just, yeah. So, just it, it, enjoy the video. Alrighty. So, uh, what map are we on? We're on. Oh, uh, this is Arcaden. Okay, cool. Uh, we are playing on Arcaden and I, I just got destroyed. But you guys see, we have Damascus. There's no uh, weapon inspection in this game, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. It looks super clean. Like, look at this gun, man. Like, oh. Uh, uh, okay. But yeah, I mean, like, the reload animation, it's there. Like, it just looks super clean, dude. And, I mean, the MP7 is just insane in this game anyways. I don't... I I think I saw Sore Rage do this, or Mike. Uh, a lot of you guys might know him. He does COD on PC and stuff like that, too. And he does... Uh, or, like, throwback CODs on PC. I didn't know where to go to find this. And his video actually really helped me find out, uh, find out where to go. So, thank God. And, actually, the original post on the forum had this deleted. But, thankfully, someone in the forum uh, allowed me to download this. Like, there was still a download link, like, in the forum and things like that so that was really really nice i think this camo looks super clean it still has that bright uh, i guess vibrant um like look to it kind of like gold does in modern warfare 3 but it just has damascus slapped over it and whoever made this really really good so props to whoever made this man i don't really know who did it i think it was one of mike's friends to be honest but yeah so dude the mp7 is such a laser bro dude, wait I, I can't move this what dude Okay. Fucking kill me! All right. Well, I I don't really know. Uh, is that just not possible? That's just weird. I've never I've never had that problem before. Maybe. Uh, oh, we got an attack helicopter. Let's go! Oh no! No! Come on, man. Almost had it. Dude, wait. What is that spawn? Modern Warfare Three is one of those games that I really enjoy playing casually. Honestly, I played this game a lot when I was like i don't know when i i think i was in high school yeah i was like 16. it was 2011 when this game came out so i was a junior in high school when this game dropped and it was just oh i had so much fun i have so many memories playing the older cod games especially like mw2 mw3 even black ops 1. i didn't really play black ops 2 because i kept wait what why am i lagging why am i lagging hello what dude i got a moab i mean okay but i'm still lagging up, everyone's quitting okay well all right i think we're on village and we're playing free for all i saw a free for all server and i was just like oh yeah definitely i don't know how many people are in here though and it doesn't seem like anyone's but we're using the 74u as you guys can see with damascus oh look there's a guy all right cool it's super clean oh there's another guy we kill him nope oh, nope my aim is dog shit um so I'm <laughs> there's a guy all right, my aim's still a little bit off, but it's all good. I watched the Suns game last night, or I watched the NBA Finals last night, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, man. The Suns are just white hot. Like I said in the last video, man, but one dude was going off, not Devin Booker. Uh, Devin Booker had like 31 points, but it was enough. It was like one of those guys, it's like one of the players that they don't go off every game, but during the finals, you kind of see different players go off, kind of like how Mike Miller did uh, when the Heat won the, fi the, like, the finals with LeBron and Wade and Bosh or whatever for the first time, and... 
just you know mike miller went off in that finals like the final like three games or so i'm pretty sure him and uh i think his name is sebastian i'm i'm gonna get torn to shreds but anyways his name is not sebastian there's no way i'm so bad with names bro i know exactly what he looks like but i literally can't remember what his name is that's terrible oh we got special as bonus to keep i dude i literally can't remember for the life of me Macau bridges he went off he had like 31 i think he had like 27 points or something like that but he went absolutely off last night in addition obviously like i said devin booker was just going absolutely insane too so tory craig apparently got a right knee contusion uh he collided knees with Giannis when i think he went to go take a charge and they just collided knees and he went down and he was down for a little bit apparently he's a really tough player like i said i don't really pay attention to basketball i've just kind of been watching the nba finals so i don't know all the characteristics of every single player on each team i still think that the suns are gonna win the nba finals i don't see the bucks i mean i can see the bucks taking like one or two games especially after losing two games straight and they'll be home for the next game so i do expect them to take game three or game four most likely game three because it's the first home game and uh oh i won sweet it's nice all right uh i guess we use the acr i haven't used the acr yet i actually really like underground this is a good map in my opinion one of my favorite maps on mw3 to be honest oh we already got a uav up i think or we did um oh, there's a guy get out of here bro we can talk about the stanley cup or whatever uh the lightning ended up beating the uh the canadians like, I think it was, like, serious was, I think, four to one. It's not really a surprise. Tampa Bay is just super hot, and they were really good as well. To be honest, it wasn't a surprise. I mean, I was watching the games, and you could just kind of see that Tampa Bay applied a lot of pressure, in my opinion. Like, they, the, the amount of pressure that they would apply when they were playing was actually insane. I just don't, I just didn't see the Canadians winning. Of course, I wanted to see the Canadians win because they were the underdog. I always kind of like seeing the underdog win unless the Ravens are playing or like, I mean, the Orioles are always underdogs because they suck, but you know, it, it is what it is. I just kind of wanted to see someone else win. And like back-to-back -back championships in sports are kind of boring unless it's your team, really. I don't know. Like it's, it's really cool to see sports history and things like that when teams go back to back to back or something like that and they make history and like they form a dynasty and things like that. But I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just kind of boring to me. Like, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm not huge on hockey. So, wait, pause. How did I miss that? You gotta be kidding me. Like I said, I, I don't really watch a lot of hockey. Oh, well, there's a Moab. I don't really watch a lot of hockey unless it's the Caps. You know, that, that's just how it is for me, at least. And I kind of just recently started watching hockey. So I don't really, uh, I'm not really the guy to talk about, like, whether or not people are making the right plays or not, because I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have much to talk about because I don't know a lot about hockey. At least I played basketball, so I know a little bit about basketball. So that's why I feel like I can talk about it a little bit more. But I never played hockey a single day in my life. And I'm not educated on it either. So, I mean, I've been trying to learn though. That is one thing. Like I've tried to learn about hockey and certain rules and aspects of it since I started watching it. Not religiously, but I started watching it way more, uh, I guess in 2019 and uh then recently so and i've kept up with it which is nice all right we're just gonna use the mp7 again because i've been running into super sweaty lobbies and i just don't want to deal with it so <laughs> um update on my dog so we took her to the vet today i actually just got back she started panning a lot last night and normally she doesn't do that they're gonna look at her today and see what's wrong i feel like it's just an intuition of dogs but as soon as i asked her if she wanted to go like bye bye's or whatever like go for a car ride or whatever she got like super excited and she wasn't as down as she normally has been i guess or i guess the past like almost two weeks I feel like that's just normal for dogs to just kind of be super excited whenever they see that they might go for a car ride or something like that it's not weird but at the same time i am actually extremely worried like i said she's old i mean she's like 10 i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens hopefully uh, oh, dude that should have been a trouble that should have been my kill are you kidding me i just hope that she i just hope that she's okay use a spreader missile can i can i actually move it this time I guess not. Nope. Well, okay. That's fun. Yeah. Awesome. All right. You got, you got that flash on that one guy. Uh, that kind of is an assist. So, all right. Let's kill. There we go. If you guys are liking these throwback COD videos, you know, like I said, I don't have a problem playing these. I just want to make sure that I don't stop playing the older game or the newer games as well. And dude, it took me forever to pull out the FMG9. What was that? Oh, we got it. We, okay, cool. We got an assist to count as a kill. I'll take it. It counts towards my specialist because I spawned in. Nice. All right, let's see here. I think they're the right. Oh, my. All right, there's one. Two. Their third. Ah, oh, we got the third. Let's go. All right, I'm going to try and hit him with a flank Rooney because my team doesn't seem to be pushing their spawn. So I'm just going to say screw it and I'm going to try. Uh, there's a guy right there. Two guys. Nope, nope, nope. Guns up, Bunzo. We got sleight of hand. All right, I'm going in for the kill. Here we go. There's one. 
There's at least one is the Jeep. There's two. There's more down there. Come on. Come on, there's more. We can get them. There's another one. Can I get... No, my aim sucks. There's got to be a guy up here. Of course the game ended. Did we lose? Oh, no, we won. Okay, I was going to say. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, all the good stuff. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments, all the good stuff. And uh, go subscribe to the Halo channel because I'll be uploading to there in a couple days. And uh, go subscribe to Foxy Dubs as well with an S because uh, I think I'm going to change the content over there to something I'm really passionate about. So go subscribe to that. I'll leave all those down in the description below. See you guys later. Goodbye.